Hey guys, I've been meaning to post a public service announcement in case any of you Panama travelers decide to go hiking up in the Paquetti area like I did with my wife. Please make sure to let someone know where you go and when you plan to return. This story starts on a beautiful day hiking up the Pianista Trail above Paquete, Panama. Get an offline map navigator like I did and you'll have no trouble finding your way to the top. You can search for the various trail maps directly in the app or on the internet. On our way up, I noticed some ants, flies, even a nice horse on the farmlands that you pass by. And we also noticed an unusually large wasp with orange wings. I didn't think much about it and got rather close to the wasp thinking it was just a typical flying critter. Boy, was I gonna be surprised. Now let's flash forward to after our trip and I was watching a show about animals with the worst things on the planet. And this wasp came in second place right behind the bullet ant. It's called the tarantula hawk wasp and it paralyzes tarantulas with its powerful sting and then proceeds to drag them off to its burrow where it lays an egg on the spider. When the egg hatches into a larvae, it eats the spider from the outside in while it's still alive. So as we continued our ascent, my wife started crying as she saw the horrifying sight of a bloated tarantula being dragged over the jungle trail into the lair of a brightly colored wasp. Go, babe. No. Go, you have to step up. No, no, He's over there on the right. No. Go, go, go. No. Please. No. Come on. No. No. Oh, no. The spider had interesting yellow markings on it, and it kind of seemed like it had captured itself a wasp for dinner. But exactly the opposite was true. Fellow travelers, this is the stuff of nightmares, and I do not blame my wife for whimpering as I film this monstrosity. As I make this video and watch this scene over and over, I thank God that one of those things didn't sting me and drag me away to its burrow for its babies to snack on. Apparently they're not aggressive, except towards tarantulas, whom they seem to hate. The takeaway here is to study up on local flora and fauna, keep your distance from critters, and pack extra batteries for your camera because you don't want to miss moments like this. If you got some useful info from the video or found it entertaining, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Take care, everyone.